Thank you to my fellow candidates, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. I want to thank you for being here in Eldon, beautiful Eldon, for the announcement of our party's communities platform. Communities like Eldon are the backbone of the island. Islanders feel a deep connection to their home communities as part of their local identity. Communities are an important partner in the delivery of services to islanders. Communities also play a key role in the development and growth of our provincial economy. Islanders are best served by a respectful partnership by, between all our island communities and the provincial government. A government under my leadership will return decision-making power to local communities. We will engage communities in a meaningful way to help identify the tools that they need to chart their own futures. We need a new direction for island communities. Under our new government, all 27 MLAs, regardless of their party, will be tasked with engaging communities to develop district economic plans within their first 100 days in office. We will sit down with communities and negotiate a fair funding formula that spurs jobs and economic growth. We will engage and support communities in the process of municipal governance reform. My government will pursue comprehensive land use policy to support renewed growth using modern, modern community development principles based on sound planning. This is of particular interest to me personally. I believe that it will be the greatest step forward in a generation for the economic and social well-being of our rural communities. <laughs> Carrying out volunteer work is, an important, is very important for communities and can also expose island youth to meaningful and rewarding experience. Our new government will recognize the value of youth volunteerism by doubling the community services bursary from $500 to $1,000. <laughs> Students who give back to their communities by volunteering 100 hours with their local charities will be able to apply this bursary towards post-secondary education or training at island universities and community colleges. Government infrastructure should be fully utilized to support communities. Through our Community Hub initiative, we'll work with communities to make better use of public infrastructure, like schools, to enhance community life. Sport and recreation facilities are places for competition and socializing, making them an important part of the social fabric of our island communities. We will engage communities in a dialogue on how to more fully utilize community facilities through local, regional, and national events. Communities have been seeking more support to tackle issues of safety. Our party proposed during the fall sitting of the legislature a Safe Communities and Neighborhoods Act. Our new government will introduce and pass this law to support local communities. We will develop an island food strategy first. Island food first strategy. This will include buy local guidelines to target hospitals, manors, and schools and support local producers. Our new, our new government will implement a five-year $50 million community infrastructure program. The program will be designed to improve roads, bridges, and other essential public works. Our new government will encourage a private sector solution to high-speed internet access across Prince Edward Island, something that this government has promised many times and not delivered on. Our new government will work with our partners to enhance our air transportation, 
are links by air, sea, and land. We will pursue long-term funding for the Wood Islands Ferry. <laughs> we will partner with the Charlottetown Airport to grow services and work with communities and private sector to increase public transit options in our rural communities. My experience, my many years of experience in municipal government have given me a good understanding of the importance of island communities. Our team of candidates is made up of community-minded leaders like Darlene and Andy and Mary Ellen behind me. They are motivated to make our island a better place to live, work, and invest. Our new direction ideas for communities recognize where we have been and look forward to where we are going in the future. It can be done. Working together, it will be done. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>